Now that we have our text entry and our dictation demos done, let's go ahead and build a shortcut that lets us add a photo to our note. Here's what that looks like. So this shortcut creates a note in a specific note folder along with a photo. It provides the option to extract text from the photo. And then this is the go ahead and make sure you have your folder already done, which we did right at the beginning. And like our other ones, we've dismissed Siri, but instead of asking for input right off the bat, instead we take a photo and that's just in our actions here. I put it in my favorite list and then we can choose which camera we want, either the front or the back, or we can choose to ask. So when we run this, it's just going to ask us which camera we want to use. So in our options, we can have show camera preview. In case we don't like our picture, we can preview it and then retake it should we decide to. So we don't take up a lot of room in our notes folder. Let's go ahead and size this photo down and we have it sized down to 640 by auto height. And as you can see, those are linked already. So it's resizing this photo. Now we ask for input so that we can actually give our note a title and some information. And we want to make sure we allow multiple lines. And now it's time to create that note. And we're going to create it with our provided input. And then we can actually add more things, which I've done. And I put little carriage returns after each of these when I was building it. So I'll show you real quick. Let's build that real quick so you see how that looks. We'll go ahead and drag another one in here. So create note with, and I'll just tap on that, and we get this scroll bar, and we can say provided input, and then we can hit a carriage return, and then the current date, and another carriage return, and then we want the resized image. It's that simple. How's that? Now we want to choose our folder, and of course, that is our second brain folder. And then we want to make sure we do not open it when run. Okay, so let me kill that one since we already have it built. Now I like to format the current date in a certain way, so I'll just tap on it. And it lets me choose how we want the date to look. So I like it to be with the date as a short format and the time as a medium format. So that's a little example of how it would look with an abbreviated date, but then the time has the seconds as well as the hours and the minutes. So now let's add a menu so we can decide whether or not we want to extract text. So when you bring this first in, like so, it's going to look like that. So you just edit it, you put your prompt in, and then you decide what you want those to say. And you can have as many menu choices as you want. All right. So by the way, what does this menu do? Let's click our icon, show our info, presents a menu and runs different actions based on which menu item was chosen. So that's really powerful. So do we want to extract text? Yes. So what happens if it's yes? We run this action called extract text. Now I could have chosen the resized image, but instead I chose the photo so that it would have a little more resolution to work with. I'm not sure that that makes a difference, but it just seems logical to do it that way. So after we've extracted the text from the photo, we append that to our note. So I always like to add this little separator. And then in this case, after the separator, I did a carriage return and I just typed this caption extracted text colon, then another carriage return. And then I chose text from image so I can hold that. And you can see that was a choice and we appended it to our note. Now, let's say we don't want to extract text. We don't do anything. So we just leave this blank. Then we end our menu. Then we have our comment. This is where our keyword helper will go in the future. We show our folder and then we open the menu result. We don't want to open the appended note, right? Because we may not have chosen to add text. So by opening the menu result, what will open is the actual finished note that's based on our menu choice. Let's run it real quick. Let's use our back camera. There we are. 
I have this little lens wipe packet, so I'm going to get real close to it, take the picture, and then I can decide to use that or I could have retaken it. So now let's go ahead and enter our text for that note. We'll get a security check and then we get our little menu and we decided, yes, let's extract text. All right, so there's our note. There's our date formatted the way we formatted it. There's our photo. Here's our little separator in our caption. And then here's the extracted text. And it did a pretty good job. It even picks up the web link and the phone number link. So that's pretty handy. All right, so now let's do the same thing with video. We'll go back to our shortcuts and we'll open up our video one, which is very similar, of course, to the photo one. So instead of taking a photo, we're taking a video and that's just a different action. I've already put it in my list here, I think. Yeah, take video. And then we're asking which camera. And then in our options, we can set our quality level and medium seems to be fine for me. And then I don't want to start recording until I tap it so that I'll have a minute to set up my shot and get everything ready before I start recording. Then after I've recorded my video, we go ahead and we ask for the name of the note and the information we want in the note. Okay, we want to make sure multiple lines are selected. We create our note with our provided input and our current date, but now instead of a photo or a resized image, we want the video to be in the note and we want to put it in our second brain and we want to make sure we don't open it when it runs. Then this is again where we put our keyword helper in the future. We show our folder and we open our note. So let's run this one. We're going to use the back camera and then I want to get my little TV set. This is what I want to put in the video. This thing is so cool. I'm going to turn it on. Look how small it is. All right. Here we go. So now we're recording. I get the remote control and I can change channels. Here we go. And there's some more videos and there's somebody trying to do a shortcuts demo. All right, we say use video. All right, there's the note and there's the video. We won't do it again. All right, so now let's do the same thing, but instead of a photo or a video, let's make one for an audio recording. So we're gonna do this, the recording audio. Same thing, we're gonna record audio, and we can choose what quality, when to start, and when to finish. Then we ask for text, just like we've done all along. We wanna make sure that we can have multiple lines, and we create our note, but instead of a photo or a resized image or a video, now we've chosen recorded audio. And we put it in our second brain folder, and we want to make sure we don't open it when it's run. We show our folder, we open our note, we stop the shortcut. Here we go. Hi, this is an audio recording, and this could be really handy. Like, let's say you have an engine knock and you want to record it, put it in a note, so when you go see your mechanic, you can play it back for them. There's our note. Hi, this is an audio recording. So there you go, you get the idea. 